Hello everyone, my name is Anthony. I have CF, which stands for Cystic Fibrosis, and CFRD, which stands for Cystic Fibrosis Related Diabetes. But I'm here to discuss something I have not been diagnosed with, but might have and is in the process of getting diagnosed for, and that is autism. Or just trying to find out whether I'm neurodivergent in general. And I would like for you all to come on this journey with me to find that out. Which is funny because initially I wasn't going to make any videos like this. I, I was thinking if I was ever going to do videos like this, I would rather wait until I was diagnosed. But then I thought, why not make a video documenting my journey on this? And if you guys are willing to come with me on it, then let's do it, right? So I guess to give you a little background as to why I decided to pursue this. It goes back to May of 2022. I was on my way out of the school I was going to, so I was just kind of hanging out with some friends and acquaintances, just like this kind of reminiscing, whatever. Just we was discussing our first impressions of each other, and their first impressions of me was that I was autistic, which is interesting because. I don't really remember my first impressions of them and I don't, really, I don't really even remember interacting with them that much in general so I guess the fact that they came to that conclusion is interesting and I've been kind of thinking about that like why exactly but more so I just started thinking about things about myself that I do or even stuff that I did back then. And I actually recently remember something I completely forgot about. And again, I'm not sure if these are signs of anything, but like, I remember when I was younger, I used to, I used to scratch the walls a lot. So basically what would happen is that like, if the walls were like dry, I would just kind of scratch them. And I usually just kind of did it because I kind of felt good. But the weird thing is, I always kind of knew the back of my head that that wasn't normal, I guess. And I remember, like, when my mother would, like, paint the walls, I always kind of felt relieved so I wouldn't have to do that anymore. But then, you know, once that cleared up, we went right back to doing it. But I only did it at home, though. It was never something I did in public. But I eventually did stop doing that, but I have started doing something else that... Uh, I guess could count as that and that's like um, and you guys can comment if you've ever done this for anyone that is that is like near diverted or in the process of trying to figure that out so I think in the past few years I've started like kind of chewing on my clothes and it's something that frustrates me to no end because I've ruined a lot of clothes with doing that but like it's it's something that I've been doing for at least like three or four years now I think maybe and I started trying to think about why why do I do that and I realized that I tend to do that like if I'm really like stressed out or facing like high anxiety. So I think basically like when I, I guess when I realized that that could be the thing I started like researching that and started like looking the stuff up online. I've also been watching like um, some like YouTubers or, that make that kind of content so I guess the point of this video is just me just, I guess just trying to discuss basically, I'm sorry I'm not even really good with these kind of videos as you can see, oh that's the other thing too I realized, I, I'm not good at making eye contact and I also have a hard time like being able to hold a conversation, although I do think I have improved on it a bit over the years, but again that was something I actively tried to do. But for a long time, I really had trouble doing that kind of stuff. Like, so much so that, like, if I... If I didn't know what to talk about, I just really wouldn't talk. And sometimes I still do that. Although, I do feel like it's starting to get a little worse lately. But there was a time when I really didn't really talk to, like, a lot of people that... Either wasn't my immediate family or people I was, like, really close friends with. In fact, there was a time where some people didn't even know I, I, I actually spoke... And it's interesting because it wasn't until like I guess I started hanging out with um I guess some of my more recent friends that I've where I kind of understood I guess I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but yeah, it's just it's just things I'm just I've been really thinking about. It's just weird because I guess I never really thought about that kind of stuff just because, and this kind of goes back to me bringing up the whole CF stuff at the beginning of the video, because I always had to deal with that. So, you know, myself and my whole family, because well, I have an older sister also has CF and. It was, you know, it's a difficult disease to deal with, and for anyone that doesn't really know what that entails, to give you the short version, it's a chronic genetic digestive or respiratory disease that is the, um, that affects other organs, or multiple organs. That is the easiest way I can explain that, because otherwise, you, you would probably have to look that up, and I don't necessarily advise it, because they show, like, the worst case scenarios. I will say that it affects everyone differently. I do have a couple of like vlog videos discussing my CF journey on my main channel. Which is the other thing too, I wasn't even sure where I was going to place this video. I'm not sure, because I wasn't sure if I was going to put this on my main channel or put this on like another channel. But I'll probably just make another channel for this video and any other videos regarding this probably. So, because, I guess because, um... My channel is just kind of all over the place. <laughs> my main one, because I have like, aside from the CF vlogs, I have like other podcast stuff, some music stuff, and just like random nonsense that I make from time to time. And I kind of want this to be a little more focused. So, but yeah, that's I think that was pretty much the issue is that because I was dealing with all my CF stuff, you know, going in and out of the hospital due to health reasons, usually like respiratory issues, that I never really thought about why or th that I might even have stuff like that because looking back at it now I do think I've had the signs for a long time and maybe even was kind of aware of it but just never really thought too deeply about it. so now that the CF stuff isn't affecting me as much due to some um, newer medication I've been on I've decided that you know what maybe I should you know pursue this and and again I just want to know for myself really just so that's why I'm doing this. And I hope that... Well, first I hope that you guys may be able to watch the video. <laughs> I know this seems a little all over the place. I apologize for that. I, I tend to do that, especially once I really start like getting into it. I'll just kind of go off on tangents. But I'll usually try to make my way back to the point I'm trying to make. But I do hope this is hopeful for... Um, that means a useful for anyone that is trying to, you know, pursue a diagnosis. I know it's a hard process. It's a long process, I believe. So I have my first appointment coming up soon, and I am generally excited about it because I, again, I really want to know just for myself. So I can basically, I guess, because right now I'm just kind of going on a journey to really just rediscover myself. So, that's what I'm doing right now. And I hope you guys, for those who are trying to find that out, I hope you guys do well in your journey as well. So, let's do this together. So, if you like content like this, you can subscribe to, subscribe to this channel and I guess any of my channels and pages. I recently got this, um, <laughs> I recently got this in the mail for doing... Um, an interview regarding CF, so. And I also got this random thing. From school, it's fun. So it's, it's a fidget pen. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's all I have for today. If I missed anything, then um, I will add that to the next videos. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all later.